Thank you, Alyssa, and welcome to Lexington, Kentucky. We're inside Rupp Arena, just seven games left in regular season, and it's time to build momentum toward March. A&M trying to build on their big win at Ole Miss to get back-to-back -back road wins, and Kentucky plays their best at home. They need a win today. I'm here in Lexington, and you see Texas A&M in their pink jerseys. They go inside to Lauren Ware, and she gets the first basket of the game. Done all year long on the boards. The three transfers that have made such a difference for A&M, and there's one. You, you notice for, for Kentucky right now, they're switching all ball screen action because they are undersized, so that's something that Missouri, and then they lose at Florida, a game that they really felt they should have won as Rogers hit that jump, that one in the paint though. Yeah, but the fact that she can rebound the ball, put it on the floor, push it the length of the floor, is definitely. Rodgers hesitates, Shear with good defense. Oh, and a good steal and hustle play by Kula Ball. Kentucky with an opportunity to take a lead into the halftime locker room. It's knocked away, two seconds, one. The shot goes up. And we'll go to the locker room all tied up. Now Kentucky back in a 2-3 zone. And a nice jumper as points a game this year. Barker skying for the rebound, finding Koulibaly. I have no idea how she didn't turn that over, <laughs> but that, that I, I know, I just thought about it. <laughs> Janiah Barker steps back, boom. Rodgers off the skip pass. Him had a big lead in the first quarter. Kentucky came back. And Barker. With your team and you talk to your team about, so, you know, if they look at it and say, we're a 13 seed, a 14 seed. And on this play for K-Day, Texas A&M walking away with their second SEC road win in a row and they go to five and five in conference play.